This is News Trail, your daily dose. Welcome to News Trail this Friday, 28th April 2023. I am Adetola Kayode. President Muhammadu Buhari says the fight against insecurity in his eight years in office has been challenging but greatly improved with the upgrading of security architecture, hardware, training, equipping staff, officers and structuring of the welfare system of the children of fallen heroes. At the official unveiling of the national and regimental colors of the new and operationalized units of the Nigerian army at the Eagle Square, Buhari noted that improvements in these areas have collectively enhanced enhance the army's capacity to effectively carry out its constitutional mandate. The president thanks the chief of defense staff and the army for maintaining peace and security in the nation, including Nigerians, for perseverance. President Buhari presented 81 new symbolic flags to the various units of the Nigerian army at the event attended by former President Goodluck Jonathan, former head of state General Yakubu Gawan, and Senate President Hamid Lawan. The president explained that the last troop in presentation of Colors Parade, a revert symbol of the identity of the unit, was last held in 2007. The National Economic Council, NEC, has suspended the planned removal of subsidy and petroleum products by the end of the Buhari administration. The council, presided over by Vice President Yemi Oshibajo, deliberated the matter and resolved that it cannot be removed for now, but it agreed on the need to continue the discussion on the matter and the necessary preparatory work in conjunction with states and representatives of the incoming administration. NEC's submission is that it is not a favorable time for such action. The issue of subsidy has been a controversial topic in Nigeria, with the current administration agreeing to an extension of the statutory period for the implementation of the removal of subsidy on premium motor spirit PMS, popularly called petrol, in line with existing laws. It is now left for the incoming administration to take a decision on the fee of subsidy removal. The Portuguese language Michaelis Dictionary, one of the most popular in Brazil, added Pelé as a new adjective to its online edition. With this, Pelé, the nickname of the late football legend, has officially become synonymous with exceptional, incomparable, and unique. The inclusion came after a campaign by the Pelé Foundation to honor the football star and gathered more than 125,000 signatures. Pelé died in December at 82, the only player to have won the World Cup three times. He's widely considered to be the best footballer in history. During his playing career spanning two decades, he scored a record 1,281 goals with Brazilian club Santos, Brazilian's national team, and the New York Cosmos. Jerry Springer, the godfather of reality TV show, has died at 79, best known for his ruckus talk shows and frontliner of The Jerry Springer Show, which ran for nearly three decades from 1991, which brought fights, flying chairs, and the fringes of the U.S. society to a global audience. Springer died peacefully on Thursday at his home in Chicago. Jane Galvin, a friend of Springer's and spokesman for the family, has irreplaceable. He says Jerry's ability to connect Connect with people was at the heart of his success in everything he tried, whether it was politics, broadcasting, or just joking with people on the street who wanted a photo or a word. Springer, who died after a brief illness, served as mayor in his hometown of Cincinnati before leaving politics for journalism. And that's it on News Trail for today. Many thanks for connecting. Please do not forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe to YouTube channel News Trail. And always remember that your value does not depreciate based on someone else's inability to see your worth. Have a fantastic weekend.